Welcome back to our course on PSC 2019. In this chapter I'm going to focus again on the organizer. We're going to extend some of the topics that we've looked at already and introduce a few new ones as well. If you're very familiar with the organizer from a recent version of PSC, you can probably skip this chapter. In this first section I'm going to look at captions. I'll start by looking at options for maintaining captions. Then I'll show you various ways in which captions can be used. And finally, I'll introduce you to audio captions. Now when it comes to adding captions, there are many options and they generally correspond to ways of changing captions and deleting captions as well. So let me select one image. I'm going to select that one up there. On the edit menu, one of the options is add caption. Once I've added the caption, there's no sign of that caption in the grid, but if I double click on the image, the caption appears underneath it. Now let me go back to the grid again. Let me bring up the keyword info panel. Note that that image is still selected. And there is the caption in the caption text box on the right there. I can clear the caption using this approach. Once again, having cleared that field, if I double click on the picture, you see there is no caption there. But if I click, I can add the caption in there. Back to the grid again. Right click on the image, add caption. There are many, many options. If I clear the caption there and click on OK, it says no caption was entered. Do you want to clear the caption? Yes. So there's a selection of ways of maintaining captions. There are many ways in which captions can be used. Let me just put this caption back. We've already seen some of them, so if I double click on that image, I can see the caption below the image. And if I go into full screen view, don't forget keyboard shortcut F11, the caption actually appears over the image. There are many other situations in which captions can be used. For example, you can optionally include them in slideshows and other artifacts that you create. Their inclusion is an option when printing images. And you can even search on captions as well, as we'll see later on in the course. But there's another type of caption which I mentioned earlier on in the course, but we haven't looked at at all yet, and that's the audio caption. I'm going to add an audio caption to this image. Now you can use an existing sound file as an audio caption or you can record one yourself. I'm going to record one on this occasion. So with the image selected I use this little icon down here record audio caption. Now if I click on file in the menu I can browse to one of the folders on my device and locate a suitable audio caption if I've already got one there. But as I say on this occasion, I'm going to record my audio caption. There's the record button. I'll make it a fairly short caption, but you can actually make it as long as you want, really. So let me click on record. The red deer is the largest land mammal in the UK. Deer on the open hills in Scotland are smaller than those in lowland English woodland. So I ended the recording by clicking on the record button again. What I'm going to do now is to close this dialog. Would you like to save this new audio caption? Yes, I would. It's given a default name and the default name is created by using the name of the file itself but changing the extension to .wav. It's recorded as a WAV file. So let me return to the grid. If you look at the thumbnail in the grid, you'll see there's a little icon in the top right hand corner there indicating that there is an audio caption. You can also see the name of the audio file in the panel on the right there. And any time that I'm looking at this particular image, let me open it up again, I can play the caption just by clicking on the little icon in the top right hand corner. Up comes the dialog for playing the caption. Note that I can always swap the caption for a different one if I want to, but just to play it, 
The red deer is the largest land mammal in the UK. Deer on the open hills in Scotland are smaller than those in lowland English woodland. And that's it, and the end of this section. I'll see you in the next one. Hi everyone, Nigel here, and thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click down below to subscribe so you can get notified about similar videos we upload. Now click on over there to get the complete course in Adobe Photoshop Elements 2019. And then click on right about over there to watch the complete set of videos in this playlist. We'll see you next week with additional videos.